In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use the failover feature for your D-Link G530 5G NR AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 router. The router has already been set up with broadband connectivity. And now, we are going to insert the SIM cards into the router. So take note of the orientation of the SIM cards with the notch facing top left. Insert it into the SIM card slots at the back of the router. Push it all the way in. It is spring loaded. Now, after inserting the SIM cards, you need to do a power cycle. So we're going to power off the router and power it back on. Let's wait for the router to reboot and once it's connected, you will see that the LED status will be solid white. Once the router has rebooted and connected to the internet, let's head over to our computer where we need to use the web user interface to set the failover feature. So from your computer, to get the IP address of the router, you need to go to command prompt. At command prompt, type in the following command, IP config. The default gateway IP address is the one that you need to get to the web interface. Take note of it and key in the IP address on a web browser. If you get this prompt, simply go to advanced and continue. Key in the password that you use for the router setup. This is the router web interface. To use the failover feature, you need to go to settings. Select failover. You can see that the failover is currently disabled. Let's enable that. And save. So the new settings have been saved. Now, on our router, we are going to unplug the LAN cable. It will take a while for the 5G to kick in. And once that is done, you can see that the LED will be solid white again. There, your router is now on 5G network. Yeah. So let's try to play a YouTube video. We'll play this video. And you're able to play the YouTube clip. So this is how you use the failover feature for your D-Link G530 5G Wi-Fi 6 router.